So the other day, a friend of mine sent me this video to explain. He wanted me to create a tutorial somewhat similar. And that is where I really don't like it. Why in 2024 are you still using a brush to remove elements? I don't, I don't think that that is sufficient because how you're doing it will end up creating a destructive process of image editing. I'm going to tell you something which is not destructive and uh, uh, which is basically based on vectors. Now, if you want to understand that in detail, let's start there. So I do have this photo over here and on this photo I'm going to be taking in a simple paint dripping image something like this just like what the other guy had. Uh, select this and let's select one of these over here. Now once this is selected I will create a my work path from this and uh, once the path is done that's it that's all I want from over here. Now the other thing is over here with this girl I want to be removing certain elements, so I might just end up creating something uh, which is not necessary over here. So instead of replacing it with a uh, background, why not create something with using AI? So let's do that. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a duplicate of this one, and on this layer, I'm going to be creating a mask. Once this subject is selected, create a mask so that I have just this female over here, just like that. Okay, then work done. Now for the second bit, let's select this bit, remove from this over here and do I do something wrong? Yeah, okay. So with this layer selected and the selection done over here, let's delete this. Now I do have this area deleted and I will use generative AI to make sure that this area is now filled. So once this is there, click on generative fill, click generate without any, without adding any particular information in the text box. When you add that particular information in the text box, you can choose to do that. In this case, I do not need anything very specific. So I will just leave that blank and continue with generating. So let's see what this brings up. Well, I like how the output has come out over here. So I will continue with just the first one. Once this is done, remove this from the layer. Now I do have this woman over here and the background, which is completely fit. perfect. Now moving forward, I do have this particular area. Did I delete that path? I think yes, I deleted that path. So let's do that one more time. Once I have this layer, just make a selection of the area that I want. Right click and select make work path. Once you do that, you have a new path which is created. Now using this path, I can actually remove this. And now with this path selected, I can end up creating another mask just like that. That will end up creating a vector mask. You see what has happened? Now this has created a vector path which is editable. Once I get to get a chance to see that, so I can have that from over here. And once this path is selected, I can use the 
path selection tool and the direct selection tool. Wait, just before I do that, let me tell you something quickly about what we have done over here. So instead of removing elements or painting over elements like how uh, the actual video did using a brush layer and although on a mask, we have created an additional mask, something which is possible in Photoshop. Now, in case you did not know that, I recommend that you check out this particular course that I have created on Photoshop itself. If you are part of the Design Hub community, you will be able to get a special discount. But let me quickly tell you about that. You know, if you do not know what that was, that was basically a simple vector mask that we have created. And if you do not know what a vector mask is, I recommend you check out my course on Photoshop. I have created an entire 8 hour course with a lot of different quizzes, interactive exercises and lot more that you can practice with in terms of resources as well. And not just any random course. Now this course has a course completion certificate that you do get if you complete the course itself. And not just that, there are a ton of resources, uh, a lot of different tutorials, about 8 hours of knowledge worthy content or at least I think so. Uh, that I have plugged all of it in to explain Photoshop to the best of its capabilities. Well, if you are a Design Hub subscriber, you will be able to get a simple discount of 25%. That's 25% that you will be able to get if you put in this particular code. D-E-S-I-G-N-S-U-B-S-U-B -S -S Design Hub subscriber. So go ahead, get on that website, unlock the special discount code and get started learning Photoshop in detail with me. Right, now let's get back to this over here. Now over here you can see that we have created a simple path and using this path, I can end up shifting all of the points as necessary. So let's say first by selecting the direct selection tool that is using A, I will end up shifting this. That has to be done on the Path over here. So once I do this, you can see that all of this path is now selected. And then with all of these points selected, I can shift it further down. And there I have the simple output of a layer dripping. Yeah, isn't that cool? Now the best part about this is that this is a vector path. So again, you have not lost on anything at all. There is no information that has been deleted. And all of this is being generated by a simple vector layer or vector mask so you can end up playing around with these layers also and if you want a different vector mask so instead of choosing this one if you want this one that's also not too difficult to do so go ahead try this out and tell me what you think of it well for the last bit there is going to be a simple shadow that we create for that i will end up creating a new layer selecting a brush which is of large size and hardness zero and maybe size can be slightly bigger than that there I have a CG brush, transform this so that it ends up looking something like that right over here. Now wasn't that easy, trust me my team is gonna flip when I show them this. Now while I do that, please make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel and go ahead on the Photoshop course and check out that as well. I will see you in another video.